stop. So, and this is heavy, so, oh my goodness. Oh, aren't those pretty? They're leaf die cuts. Jill, if you made these, let me know how you did it, please. Those are pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And what's this? Oh, this is Staples. It says, this is new. I just couldn't get it to fit in the box in its bulky package. So she's talking about the tiny attacher. And there's some extra Staples to go with it. Okay, I'm going to read this and see what this says. Oh, okay. I'm going to read the rest of that later. And look at this, you guys. A whole bunch more tags. Look at this. There are tons more tags in here. Of every shape and color and size. Oh, look at those. Aren't those neat? I think she tea dyed those. Those look tea dyed. Oh, these are cool. Thank you, Jill. Look at these little tiny ones. Aren't those neat? Oh, look at this one. Nobody laugh at me. It's not fair. I haven't seen these, honestly. Those are cool. They're like little, see, they're like little arrows. Anyway, and here's a bunch more. I've got enough tags here to do something with. Now she's going to, she's going to expect to see something. And look at this, you guys. Oh, my goodness. It's the Dragonfly Mini. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that pretty? And Jill went through this on one of her videos. I'm not going to go through it all page by page. Okay, we'll go through it page by page, but not in great detail. And this is an acrylic dragonfly, because dragonflies are my thing. Unless she put a penny on it for me, even. And she shows this. I love this. She shows this in one of her recent videos. You guys will have to go over to her channel. She is Stampyra here on YouTube. And I believe this is a Laura Dennison design. Laura, of course, is at Follow the Paper Trail here on YouTube. Isn't that cool? And I happen to know that this is one of Jill's most favorite paper packs. It's also one of my favorites, as she knows. This is neat. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to play with that. Thank you very much. That is going to have to stay on my desk for a while. <coughs> oh, look, and it's um, a photo, it's a vintage photo developing bag. And how this used to work was the customer would fill this part out, drop their roll of film in the bag, and pull it up tight and mail it in the mail. See, there's the mailing tag. And it cost a penny and a half. I don't know where they got the half of a penny. Oh, and she sent me some, um, it said wax thread for saddles. This is from the 70s. Cool for binding books. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to do a bound mini now. A thread bound mini, that is. And here are some barrel swivels. Oh, those will come in handy for making um, charms with. Oh, and look at the tiny little frames. Oh, my goodness. Here, you guys. Let me do this so you can see these. Let me get a hold of it. Aren't those neat? Look how detailed those are. I don't know who these are by, but I would sure like to know, Jill, because I really, really like those. And I've got a project that I want to work on that these will be perfect. I won't even have to alter them. They'll just be perfect exactly the way they are. Thank you very much. Those are cool. And here are some stick pins and a whole bunch of extra corsage pins that I can play with. And there is a swivel clasp stuck down in there. We're going to leave that there for now. And we have... Note cards. I like those. Jill knows that I'm not good at making cards. I try not to make cards unless I have to. If you get a card from me, it's a rare occasion. I, 
I buy note cards like this and I use these because my card making skills are not what one might think they should be just being nice to myself so thank you you know I can use those because you have gotten enough notes written on scrap pieces of paper and here is it's a big building it's a it's an unmounted stamp and it is a big building of some sort looks like maybe a brownstone I don't know I'll have to stamp it and find out and here is a seashell on a postage stamp that is really cool here's another of the film mailers here and this says some extras for you to use through the mini let me know if you need anything else I have tons of scraps and punches I'm sure you do and this is glued down rather well here we go oh and it's all kinds of punch outs for the mini that she sent me oh fun oh fun oh fun and this says oh these are for making danglies I don't know what they are let's look, open it and find out oh. Oh yeah, they're cool little, hang on here, there's something else in here. Oh, more of them. Oh, look at those. Aren't those neat for making dangly charms? Thanks, Jill. I've got enough stuff here. Between this box and the last box you sent me, I could scrap for six months. Oh, and there's some pink dragonflies, metal dragonflies, and look at the cool buttons. Oh, those are neat. I really like those. And this says some more cool postage. She sent me the coolest postage stamps the last the last time, and here she has sent me a whole bunch more. I love postage stamps. They just make the nicest little things, little additions to minis. There's one from St. Vincent's Island. Oh, these are cool. They're from all over the world. Well, sorry about that you guys as usual right in the middle of my video my memory card decided it was full why does it always do that okay anyway moving on <coughs> sorry guys I still have some some cough holding on here um, I had just showed you the cool post car, or postage stamps that Jill had sent me and there's just a ton of them look look at the stack it's just huge Jill you shouldn't have you know as usual but thank you very much and this says oh I cut these sticker sheets to fit and you guys this is some of the Melissa Francis um, designer stickers and the more I see of the Melissa Francis line of products the more I like it everything she has just about everything she has out I really really like so here are some sticker sheets and she had to cut them up to make them fit and I you know that's fine with me I appreciate the fact that Jill is willing to share with me <laughs> oh how fitting is this one how fitting is this one it says crazy is a relative term in my family <laughs> yeah that's so true in my family too you don't know you have no idea how true that is but these are really neat these are cool thank you Jill I love these these are really really cool oh isn't that neat it's a big journal spot those are cool believe it or not guys this box that she sent me is not empty yet Mm, sorry here are a bunch more tags and this envelope is just packed full of these tags oh there's some neat shapes can you see that one I like that and some more tags and these oh these are um, library pockets oh how cool I don't have any of these thank you Jill those are the coolest thing ever right there see it's let me show you it's a library pocket your tag fits down in there like the old style library cards from when 
you know, I was a kid going to the library. And here are some black tags. Oh, I might have turned this into a tag mini. Those are cool. And I've never seen these either. Oh, yeah, these are the banners. Those are neat. There's some there in navy blue, and there's some there in manila. And great big tag. And I think, yep, there's two of them there. And some huge tags. Some huge, huge tags. Those, look at this, you guys. That's how big those are. They're huge. Thank you. And here are some fold-out card. It's a fold-out card. Let me see what I've got here. It's silver, and it's real shimmery, you guys. Let's take this out, and I'll have to slip this off so we can see it. There's a seal that I just dropped. See, there's a seal for it, and it's adhesive. And I'm trying not to destroy this if I can help it. And it has a couple of inserts. There's a silver and there's a white. Oh, and then it folds. It's a fold out. Oh, I see. And this is a pocket. Look at this, you guys. How neat is that? I may have to make a mini big enough to hold this. That's really cool. Thank you, Jill. So if this was mounted to a mini, you could mount it this way and it could go like this. Or you could mount it this way and it would then fold out like this. Isn't that cool? And oh my goodness, what's this say? Collage elements. 20 assorted pieces, tags, envelopes. Look at that. See if I can get it open. Well, I can't get it open, guys, so we're gonna, I'm going to have to open that later. Thank you, Jill. Um, as usual, you guys, she's pretty much left me speechless here. This, this is my favorite. This is my favorite thing that she has ever sent me right here. I think just because she made it for me. And this is really special. There is a dragonfly on there. And there is my initial. And there is another little tiny dragonfly on there. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite. And I am going to have a lot of fun filling this up. I'll have to think of a theme for it. But this is just beautiful. So if you want to see this in detail, go over to Jill's channel. She's Stampyra here on YouTube. If you have trouble finding her, check my friends list because she's there. And um, you guys, I'm going to go play with some of my new toys and, and dig and rummage through this and just have a good old time. Jill, thank you very much. Um, I left you a message this afternoon. I don't know if you've gotten that yet or not. I ended up working today. I didn't want to, but they needed the help, so I went anyway. So you guys, as always, thanks so much for watching my channel. I appreciate everybody stopping by to see what I'm up to. I'm having a ball sharing this with you guys. If you have any questions or suggestions or something you want to see me make or do or try, just leave me a comment. I'm always happy to try new things. Thanks, everybody, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.